Hey folks and welcome to another Division 2 video. In this one I'm going to be going over a new feature coming to the Division 2 with title update 11, appearance mods. Let's jump into it. Title update 11 is coming at some point in the not so distant future with no date announced as of yet. But something we do know is we'll be getting a new in-game feature that will allow us to customise and personalise our characters further than we currently can in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. We're getting this in the form of appearance mods. A new mod slot being added to all normal gear. This will be a new mod slot that will be added to gear along with the gear mod slot and the die mod slot. And will basically allow you to equip a piece of gear of a specific brand and to get the specific attributes you want but change its appearance to look like a completely different piece of gear. For example, you could have a Providence chest piece on, but have it look like a Gilligard chest. For anyone who's played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you may already be familiar with this idea with them using a very similar system with their cosmetics. The new appearance mod system will only be on normal gear, so you won't be able to use it on weapons or exotics, both to change how an exotic looks, or to make a normal piece of gear look like an exotic. With weapons, this is understandable. Nobody wants to see a player running around with a double barrel shotgun firing like it's an M60. It might be a little immersion breaking. The way this new system will work is that every time you pick up a new piece of gear, its appearance will be added to an appearance library for you to use on any piece of gear that shares the same slot. Once you've deleted or sold that piece of gear, you still keep its appearance saved for use at any time. After the launch of TU11, when you log into a character, every piece of gear that character has will be added to this appearance library. However, this is not retroactive, meaning that gear you've picked up in the past will not be added, only the items you have from the start of title update 11. But this feature will be account wide, so you should log on to all of your characters to make sure you don't miss anything. Also with this new feature functioning as a mod slot, this means it will be saved along with your loadouts, just like dies. This means the same piece of gear can look completely different across all of your loadouts. And with it being a mod slot, if you unequip the item, the appearance will stay equipped to that item for the next time you equip it. But the best thing about this new feature is that it's free for all players. Whether you own Warlords of New York or the base game, it's open to everybody. Now the devs did say in the previous state of the game that they won't be able to give us the option to hide specific pieces of gear like your chest or backpack. But with this new feature, you might simply be able to change the appearance of your gear to a more minimal piece for a less bulky look. One thought I did have, and this is just an idea, not a fact, is that this opens up the ability for Massive to release cosmetic sets, whether that's as a reward or an in-game purchase. This could work a little bit like the outfits we currently have, but in a more modular way, letting us swap and switch pieces around as we like. This could give us some pretty cool and creative outfits. So what do you think of this new feature coming to the game? Personally, I like making my character look unique, so I'm happy with any extra customization we get. One thing I would say is if you stumble across a specific piece of gear that you think looks pretty good, throw it in your stash so its appearance will be unlocked as soon as TU11 is released. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, if not dislike, and don't forget to subscribe for future Division 2 content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.